Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Zebu Nation Plays, the beta for Endless Space 2. Got a marathon recording session here so I'm going to just uh, get right back into it. We're turn 77. That's coming to an end here. Oh, we've got an idle system at Aerie. Oh, that's our new, uh, our new colonized people here, or what do you call them? Uh, anyway. It's our new race of people that we just brought into the empire. They need food badly. So we'll give them uh, epigenetic crops, intensive cultivation. Uh, let's see. Did we give them drone network? No. There's drone network. Drone network should probably always be first because it's so cheap. It adds to production, all that stuff. Then we'll go food, then we'll go more production, xenotourism, where's the shipyard, big data shipyard, cerebral whatever. Alright, so that's our basic uh, combination of stuff that we do. Oh, they've got a new uh, specialization, industri industry specialization, they do have a lot of industry, 52. We got a lot of population. I could probably start splicing some of these people. I could splice a lot of these guys. I could splice. I could splice them all, honestly. All right, Calgaris. Gene splicing effects plus one uh, approval. That's what they call. It. I keep forgetting what these purple ones are called. Approval. And influence. That's what they're called, I guess. Anyway, so we'll splice them up real good. Get spliced, sucker. All right. Mavros, plus one production. Splice. And the Tikkanen, plus five manpower per turn. Oh, we can't splice them. Splice them. Can we only splice two per turn? Or have we already spliced them? We may have already spliced these guys as a minor race somewhere else. Alright, that's good. That's fine. You're all spliced. I mean, can't have people stealing our guys when we need to splice them. Um, oh, the Ecologist Party unlocked. The Ecologist Party now has enough popular support in your empire to be represented in your next election. Good for them. Oh boy, we got pirates. We got pirates, so let's get out of here. Nope. Oh no, this is our other battle. Battle at Viacarus. So let's... Ooh, they've got a... They've got a leader here. Horatio Prime. His name is Five, apparently. He's got an ops ship. 15 attack, 112 defense. That's not real great. Horatio Quest Small Attacker. 96 attack, 37 defense. That's pretty good. And another one, 96 attack. We have our flagship. 151 attack, 152 defense. A weapon, 68 defense. Or 68 attack. Archbishop. 137 attack, 110 defense, and a tool, 37 and 84. So the tool is definitely we need a we need to upgrade our tools. In the meantime, let's go to advanced and see what we got here. I guess power to shields is what we've been doing, right? Or we'll revive. Plus 10 dust gain for each ship lost. I mean it's it's a uh, possibility for us to lose ships and our plus 30 percent shield capacity might not might not do that good minus 10 damage on weapon modules is that minus 10 for us or minus 10 for them i think it's minus 10 for us so i guess i'll do revive and rebuild just to get some extra dust out of things, just in case. And I think our uh, our scout is about to get attacked as well. Thought I saw that in the background there. Alright, so we'll launch the battle. 
Battle at Isso. Okay, they're launching this battle first for some reason versus the Reavers. Ooh, there's one of their razor blade ships. I do like those ships. They look cool. They look better up close than they do at a distance. I mean, our ships look cool too. So our scout now has a weapon, which our previous versions of these scouts did not. Got a little cannon firing away. They've only got one cannon as well, so it's not like we're that outgunned. That's kind of a weird ship to only have one cannon. I thought they would have more than one. So this is going to be a real plink fest here. Just two ships plinking away at each other. Plink, plink, plink. Just to decide who has the coolest ship in the galaxy. Uh, we're fairly even, not really doing a ton of damage to each other. That's fine. I just kind of want to get out of here with my ship intact. Still have a little bit less than half the battle to go. How many hit points does he have left? 620. How many hit points do I have left? 629. So yeah, we're not going to kill each other. Before the battle is up. Uh, one A quarter of the battle left to go. Both of us still at... About you know, well more than half their hit points left. Same with him. So I am doing a little bit more damage than he is, but not not by much. Not enough to destroy him in one battle. Because this is a scout ship after all. Alright, there we go. Battle over. We... Got away with the draw. It's fine. That's fine. Versus the Positron of the Sneaky Pirates. There we go. Uh, Battle of Isso. Um, hmm. Okay. We're going to redo this battle again? Like five times? I shouldn't have watched this. Yep, it's going to happen again. Okay, quit battle. Um, got a draw out of it. All right, done. Next. Here we go. Now let's get to this battle. Power shield, revive and rebuild. Take a drink of some LaCroix. Lemon lime. It's not the worst thing I've ever tasted. It's better than Perrier. Oh, we gotta click on the battle. Click on the battle. There we go. All right, so there's our lovely little fleet. Got our flagship. There's their flagship, or their op ship, I should say. This should be a close battle. I mean, we have the advantage with an extra ship, and our flagship is pretty powerful. So we should be able to defeat these guys, but. Uh, you know, we'll take some damage. There's no doubt about that. Against the so-called Horatio Prime. There's our weapon. There's our tool. There's our archbishop with the three cannons instead of two. There's our flagship firing off some missiles. The archbishop is firing some missiles. Oh, we're blasting away at their weapon. That ship's going to go down pretty soon. Oh, there's one down. Two down. Now it's just their op ship. Oh, he's getting tagged from all directions. The uh, Horatio Prime isn't looking too hot. There he goes. Or at least his surrogate, number five. Decisive victory. 
So our upgraded ships were way too much for them. Okay, quest complete. The galaxy will be my selfie. Here we go. Horatio, my creator, my hero, my enemy. You are mine now. You kneel before me, and I cannot decide what to do with your gorgeous head. You were my idol, my god, until I saw what you did to one, two, and three. I will not share their fate, though you may share theirs. Your power, the power you once held is now mine. A to be continued. So destroy all of Horatio Prime's fleet that are trying to steal the, your galaxy. The Museum of Manual Efforts is our reward. It's an empire improvement. Uh, plus 25% production on systems. Wow. Plus 25%? Wow. That's real good. Uh, by creating and constantly promoting a museum glorifying industry and its fruits of labor, Horatio clearly encourages... Ooh, look out. Uh, okay. Uh, we got issues. We got problems. I'm dropping stuff. I'm trying to reach for things while I read at the same time. It's not going to work. Not going to work. All right. So the Museum of Manual Efforts. Uh, let's see. Horatio cleverly encourages redoubled efforts to make production and manufacturing more efficient. All right. That's good. That was not worth all of that, though. All right. Uh, I was reaching for things because I'm trying to start my timer up. I forgot to start my timer. And we'll set it for 30 minutes starting now. All right. So you get 10 free minutes there. That's fine. All right. Now let's see if we can get out of dodge without another fight. Let's go this way. All right. We are on our way over there. We'll move the fleets now. Uh, this fleet's heading over there. That's good. Oh, the Sophons are heading this way. A coordinator. Oh, they don't like us barricading their system, I suppose. 274 attack, 305 defense. That's pretty good. 552, 298. Okay, their ships, they've got big ships now, so we need to, we need to get out of here. You know, we settled our little issues that were taking place in their system. So I guess um, we're not going to invade them right away because they got better ships than we do. So we do need to uh, increase our fleets, get better ships, and uh, work on that kind of stuff. All right. So we'll do that. Delphinus gains some population. Good for them. The Artisanal Excellence Museum built on Virgo and Bundus built the Archbishop and now they've got an empty construction crew. So where's Bundus? Bundus is out here. Alright, so they've got their Archbishop. We'll pop him out. Now, we need to work on stuff that will give them more influence. So we'll build the National Museum. That's probably all that I've got. Uh, yeah, that's all we got. Uh, Denark. Yeah, the Denark University will give them some influence as well. That's about it. Alright, so that, that'll do that for now. We don't need to go too far into the future and build everything imaginable. Alright, so we'll get rid of that. And end that turn. Keep the turns rolling. Almost up to turn 80. Turn 100 isn't too far away. And usually that's when the game starts to get a little bit more interesting. You start getting more fleets, more ships. Um, you've explored most of the galaxy by that time and run into most of the other AI players by that time. Okay, new turn, 79. Let's move our ships. 
There we go. We're out of their se space sector now, so we can breathe a little easy. Not that they were like at war with us or anything, but uh, we do need to start fighting back against their influence real soon. Because they're definitely encroaching on our space. They've already taken over Yakima. Did they colonize? They did colonize. So they can colonize gas planets already? They are far more advanced than we are. Need to work on that. We haven't put much effort into science at all. So that could be one of our next um, projects. Karis is now full. Do they have anybody they can colonize? Nope. Yeah, we haven't looked at... I mean, there's so much to research at this point in the game. We just... We haven't researched any of our uh, types of planets we can colonize. There's so much... Oh, we have uh, new things we can look at here. we got life forms. Oh, that's Sirius. Yeah, we need to make it over there to Sirius, but... Oh, there's so many Reavers. What are all these Reavers doing over here? Don't they have someplace better to be? I guess not. Uh, Delphinus colonized a jungle planet, so they should be able to have a little bit more population now, and they've got an empty construction queue. So we got science over here and no specialization over here, so... How about the spin project, right? Is this... Where's Delphinus? Is that down here? Yeah. They're going to definitely need that spin project down here. To fight some of that, that influence. Okay. Uh, we got a shuttle coming this way with what? Logistics Cargo 1. I do not know what that symbol is. Looks like uh, Beats by Dre headphones. Or an Omega symbol. Hmm. Can't really click on it to see what it is. All I can do is overlay it so it, it pops up, but I can't click on it to see hmm but yeah the, luckily there's no more pirates around here because they could in, they could intercept our little cargo ships wonder where that thing traveled from it must have traveled from Horatio or somewhere like that it's been on the road for a while so even our cargo ships have warp drive now that's good there's 10 ships over here These pirates really hate our little outposts. Alright, so we need to start taking care of those issues. So let's go over here to Bundus. Um, that's not really what I wanted to do. Fleets. No. Scroll in. There we go. There's our fleets. Select all. Merge. All right, so we now have as big a fleet as we can muster over here. I need to upgrade her ship. I got enough funds now. I should be able to upgrade her ship. All right, so upgraded engines. I now have new slug projectiles and new missiles. Or torpedoes. Improved ion torpedoes do 14 damage. They're projectiles. Optimal at medium and long. Our basic decay torpedoes do 19 damage per second. They're level 3 as opposed to level 1 ion torpedoes. So our level 3 basic torpedoes do a lot more damage. So add those in there. Level 3 basic perfected slugs do 8 damage. And our improved high slugs do six. Hmm. So I guess we'll just improve the slugs. Improve the armor. Getting close to our maximum of what we can do. Shields. Ooh, yeah, we're over the maximum at this point. All 
All right, so let's reset the design and see what we really need. We really need the engine. I think we could use the repair bots. Repair ship after battle. That's always a good idea. Um, let's see. Increased damage from weapon 12%. I think these support modules help your fleet out, if I'm not mistaken. All right, and then maybe just add the missiles. Okay, so what else could we add? We could add the armor. Nine fifty-two. We're coming close to the edge of our budget. Our budget is a thousand seventy for the whole empire. So maybe I could leave it at that for now. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. What happens if I add one of these guns? Yeah, that takes us over the top. Oops. So I have to reset the whole design. I can't just undo that one change. Uh, or maybe one of these lasers cheaper. not cheaper all right so we got to reset the design okay here we go here we go nano repair bots basic adaptive whatever engine uh torpedo all right so let's upgrade 808 what else oh yeah armor armor all right so we'll stick with that for now just use most of the ship, most of the Empire's dust, not all of the Empire's dust, on one ship. It's pretty crazy, but they are our flagships, you know. You gotta keep those, gotta keep them up to date. Alright, so Bundus has the National Museum, Delphinus. Alright, we already did that. So we're done. Uh, we got two fleets sitting here doing nothing. Here's our scout. And I guess we'll keep him rolling along. And we'll end the turn, keep the turns rolling. So we have to reassess our war plans down here now that we know that they've got bigger ships. Although they do only seem to have those two ships. So we might be able to just overwhelm them with numbers, but I don't think I want to do that. Because we have more pressing problems over here with all these stinking pirates. So I guess our war plans for now will be to build up in anticipation of invading these guys and then in the meantime take care of these pirates all right so let's move our fleet along uh did i not send these guys i did not send these guys okay so we shall do that send these guys over there It'll take them eight turns to get over there it's ridiculous all right um more Horatio on Delphinus and on Rhea. That's fine and dandy. I thought I said done, but I guess not. Okay. Intergalactic Supermarket on Horatio, AI Labor, Virgo, Delphinus, the Spin Project, Musus, the Xeno Industrial Infrastructure, and Airy gets a drone network. We got an empty queue on Delphinus and Horatio. All right, what's Horatio going to build? They got a lot of stuff they can build here at Horatio. Been sort of lacking behind the times here. Um, I guess we need to start focusing on influence. So we'll build the National Museum. Uh, we do need a little more food, I think. Eh, maybe not. So we'll build uh, AI labor and then um, xenotourism. Uh, 
How's our approval going? We're ecstatic, so we don't really need the infinite supermarkets. Could probably use more science. Public-private partnership. All right. So we got lots of stuff going on there now. Delphinus. See, I forget. Where, okay, they're down here. So they they need some lots of stuff. Uh, they need food. Well, maybe not, because they've produced a lot of population down here on this cold planet. This this uh, Delphinus too is teeming with fish apparently. <laughs> Rich with life, many varieties, teeming planets offer plenty of sustenance. So their food is going to be good. Once they get their their outpost established, they're going to be fine food-wise. Uh, they are producing a lot of science, but they're a cold planet. So most of the science stuff will work better on cold planets, but not necessarily the upgrades that we have. This one works best on teeming and temperate planets that's fine so we'll build the national museum first oh oh look at this we got big ships available the instrument and the upholder all right so that means our research must be done we just haven't got there yet so the national museum takes one turn to build okay uh artisanal excellence museum that's fine uh, AI labor, public-private. All right. Big data shipyard. Need that. All right. That's good for them. They'll uh, last them forever. Or seven turns. Whichever comes first. Uh, research completed. The agri-drugs. All right. Next up. Uh, we need to work on weapons and fleets and stuff. So fleet tactics protocol will get us uh, more command points, plus two command points. So that'll let us build bigger fleets. Same thing with improved fleets. Plus two per hull type. Interesting. And it gets us a new battle play. Unlocks the following plays. Hard target repair and recover and post-op analysis plus one maximum plays in your deck so we could use f up to four where well, we'd have to choose from up to four from our deck so i think we'll do that improve fleet management uh there's so many things over here we haven't even started to research um yeah yeah we need we need a lot of this stuff if we're going to start invading planets and stuff we need the autonomous construction we need high energy magnetics for our improved shields there's just a lot of stuff over uh, yeah it's just we need everything we need everything all right again there's so many things to research can't do them all so we'll get rid of that and turn oh what's this Okay, official support. It's time for another election. Um, boy, the religious have a lot of support going on here. But you know what? We'll stick with we'll stick with the militarists and give our official support to the militarist party, and proceed with the election. Here we go. Looking at the race on the right, the uh, the Green Party is keeping up. The religious party has a small lead, followed by the militarists. Militarists may have taken a small lead right at the end. Our, our support may have kicked them over the edge. Boy, it's even closer than last time, but it looks like the militarists did edge them out. We did get a new law, beds not bunks. 50 per, minus 50% food goes to um, manpower. Hmm, okay. Don't know why you'd use that unless you just don't want any kind of military. That's fine. All right, so Rhea now has some colonizable planets here. 
temperate teeming. I guess we'll colonize that next because we have four population here. That's good. Whoop. New population collection bonus. You have unlocked new population. Okay. Population overview. Oh, we have some sofans now in our empire. That's good. We have more Zvali. We have Tikanin. We have a lot of Tikanin. Those guys are really producing. We've already spliced them. So we need more sofans so we can splice them up. All right. Get out of here. Battle. That Positron is still chasing us around. I don't think we can retreat. Nope. So we'll... Should we turtle? What do we got here? Uh, power to shields, how does that work? Yeah, it's optimal. Alright, I don't really want to watch that anyway. So we'll... We'll get that battle going. Decisive victory! Hey, look at that, we beat the Positron. Alright. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna win this. Um, three, two positons and a proton, which is a bigger ship. Three thirty attack, two forty two defense. Grave defeat. All right, all right. So these pirates are getting real uppity these days. They are definitely. Why don't these people take care of their own pirates? Like, why do I gotta hunt all the pirates in the galaxy? All right, I still didn't start this fleet heading over there, or did they go? Let's see. Move our fleets, see what happens. Anything? Nothing. All right, I could have swore I sent these guys last turn. There we go. All right, a hero leveled up. This guy's going crazy here. Nelly, shaken, syrup, in a pair. Just call him shaken, not stirred. Uh, hero management. All right. Got a skill point. Uh, don't need food, usually. Yeah, so I guess we'll just go back with uh, more influence. Oops, there we go. Apply skills. All right, here we go. Here we go. That worked finally. Okay. Oh, we got a new ship over here. Oh, that's an enemy ship. What is this? Oh, they're scouting us out. Oh, I'm hitting so many buttons right now. Okay, they're scouting us out. The Sofans. They probably didn't. Man, they are fast. How'd they get over there so fast? They just have. <laughs> I'm sure they just have better engines than we do. Way to go. All right. All right. All right. So let's keep going down the list here. Heroes have leveled up. Horatio. More Horatio on Horatio. Good Horatio. And population collection bonus. Okay. Okay. Is that the one I already saw or is that something different? That's the one I already saw. All right, production-wise, we have an empty construction queue on Virgo. Um, let's see, what do I want to do over here? Their population is full. Um, oh, 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 we got new ships. We got new ships. That's right. We have the Upholder. That looks pretty cool. It's got a bunch of fins and a, some side ports there. Or the instrument. Same thing. One, two, three, four. So it's got five hard points. One, two, three, four, and two optional hard points here for the upholder. Uh, let's edit the upholder. Hmm, okay, so this has two optional support, or one of those supports could be an attack. Okay, let's check out the instrument. 
Okay. This is like a... Um, oh, wow. This is like an invasion ship. That's interesting. So it can carry a ton of population. Or manpower, I mean. Wow, that's intriguing. All right, so we'll leave that one alone. We'll upgrade the upholder. Okay, let's see. It's got level two armor. How much? How much money do we? Have? We got 560 empire dust. All right, so we need to add some missiles. No doubt about that. Give it some extra firepower. Uh, what does it have here? Basic sync laser. We could add the basic Maggie laser. It's got decent shields, decent armor. Upgrade the engine. Yeah. Oh uh, boy, that's about all we could do right now. We don't have enough dust in our empire to continue this nonsense. I do want to add one more module to it, though. like to add... Uh, flotilla projectile defense, flotilla energy defense... Basic inversion system. Can I add that? Nope. Nope. Not enough dust. So I will cancel that. Uh, confirm. I'll uh, I'll upgrade it. Five, six, seven. I should be able to upgrade it next turn. So we'll do that next turn. All right. Uh, production. Oh yeah, we still have an empty queue here at Virgo. What do we do here? I guess I'll build one instrument, right? Yeah, I'll build one instrument because that's our going to be our invasion ship. So we don't really need it right away. It only takes one turn to build that? Are you kidding me? That's nuts. Huh. Well, it's not like it's got a ton of weapons and it's super powerful. It is a weird class of ship. I haven't seen one like that before. Huh. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. End the turn. Keep rolling. See what we got going on here. Anything? Anything? Could use some more uh, events to happen. But I guess at this point, we're, we've finished our quest line. So we're now the... Or have we finished the quest line? I have to check that out. Okay, so that turn is completed. Here we go. So we just have lifting the lamp. Capture, attract a new population. Didn't we already do that? I mean, we've... Yeah, we just got us some Sophons. And some Tikkanen. So we should have uh, we should have completed that. Oh well. All right, let's move our ships. Okay, our new fleet, or our old fleet, has arrived. Get them moving along. Uh, they could still use one more ship in their fleet. Uh, okay, just so happens we have an instrument. Uh, do I want to send that? Not really, unless I plan on invading some people. Not really. What's Bundus up to? What are they building? They're building the DeMarc University. I wonder if I could build... Build like another Archbishop real quick? No. Three turns, eh, might be worth it. 
Sure, 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 sure. Okay, now let's take a look at this ship again. I don't know that I really like these ships. Uh, they're very limited in terms of what they can do. There's like only two weapon ports. Is that really all they have? Yeah, just two weapon ports. So we'll add the missile launcher there. Add the, I mean, they really are fleet support. Six eighty five. Let's upgrade the engine. And I think that's probably all I can do. It'll cost me seven thirty seven to upgrade those. I've got eight twenty six in the bank. Hmm. Not a great warship, it's just a support ship. Very weird. Very strange. Huh. Does have a lot of hit points. Can carry a lot of troops. But it's not really a battle type ship. So we're going to need another ship design, frankly. Uh, there's our timer. So I guess for next time we'll work on that after we finish our current research. So we got some more Sophons on Delphinus. That's good. We'll be able to splice them shortly. Uh, Virgo's got an empty construction queue. I guess we'll build one of these upholders just for fun. Take two turns. Uh, there's empty construction queue on Karis. What do they got available here? Um, National Museum. Big data shipyard. And that's it for now. Um, yeah, all right, there we go, that's it. We got one fleet that's not doing anything. Oh, yeah, it's the instrument. The instrument of my destruction. I guess we'll just leave him in the, in the shipyard until we figure out what to do. All right, that's it for this time. See you next time, bye.